remind me why we're cleaning a house on a truck on the way to Perth. The new owners move in the day it arrives. They want it neat. It's pretty straightforward. I miss Celine. I bet she's doing something really cute right now, like making a bouquet out of painted sneakers, but, but cuter than that. Uh-huh. Girlfriend's quirky. Got it. I could listen to stories about your quirky girlfriend all day, Greg. My girlfriend's story is not for your ears. Just made some sweeter. Well, it might not be cute, but when we get to Perth, I'm going to climb Mount Perth without a safety harness. Sounds dangerous. Super dangerous. Uh, Libs, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. <laughs> Listen, sounds like the bikey gang I insulted at the service station caught up. Why did you insult a bikey gang? Easier than not insulting them? Ooh, that one's swinging a chain. melons for rolling. Did you see the bikey who swerved to miss a melon and crashed into a billboard for crash insurance? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I'm adrenalized. I could climb Mount Perth right now. So listen, we were going to have that chat. Oh yeah. Police are pulling us over. I got this. <laughs> I know how to handle these country cops. So anyway, she's being arrested. They threw us in jail. We had a sassy hooker in our cell. We had a scary tattooed guy who made us take our pants off. Yeah, but then he just washed an iron and gave it back to us. Genuinely nice guy. I count him as a friend. He boasted bail for all of us. Greg, you wanted to chat to me? And we just broke down. to be part of some weird satanic ritual? I thought I was having sex with a hot daughter, but when she turned the light on, it turned out to be the grandmother. Oh, I just want to be up Mount Perth and forget about all of that. I really need to talk to you. Yes, undivided attention. Pie eating contest, 500 kilometers. I love pie eating contest. Let's talk about it for the next 500 kilometers. Uh, What's your favorite flavor? I'm raspberry. Pie champions. We couldn't have done it without Greg. He was the one that exposed the mean guy with the dislike of out-of-towners for cheating. Nah, it was nothing. Oh, tell me your thing. No interruptions. Okay. Um, this is hard to say. I know. You want to tell me you're in love with me, right? No. Um, <clears throat> I have a quirky girlfriend, remember? Oh, right. Libby, you can't climb Mount Perth. It's dangerous and you're not well. I feel fine. Something traumatic has happened to you and it's affected your personality. It's true. You've become a freaky schizo, but we're all being really sensitive about it. I don't remember anything traumatic. When? Where? A few months back in... New Zealand. New Zealand? Oh, here we go. Libby! Libby! Not Libby, Fuzzy Mama. Hey, Fuzzy Mama. I'm gonna kiss you on your face, Greg. Are you ready? Uh, that's really <gasps> flattering, Fuzzy Mama, but I have a quirky girlfriend. And you still have a lot of fruit on your face. Clean! We gotta go, guys. I got caught having sex with the daughter of the mean guy who dislikes out of towners. Listen, about before. Look, Greg, I get it. I've been taken over by a disturbing second personality. Do you mind if we don't talk about it? Let's show this cleaning expo what we've got. What cleaning expo? The cleaning expo where we perform our big dance. What did you think this road trip was for, Greg? Delivering a house. Oh, Greg. Let's do it. Well, the dance didn't go as planned. Hey, we did it as a team. Maybe this was all about the journey from the start. If I do have severe mental problems, I think I'm okay with that. We're okay with that. Did I tell you guys I insulted some more bikies? <gasps> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, the new owners live here now when they're asleep in their bedrooms. 